contains one plastic spider. Well, I guess a plastic spider can't hurt me. Ah! Beck, Beck, how can you sleep at a time like this? It hasn't moved for a while. I should be okay. Hey, wait a minute. This is some kind of prank. A prank in our house? No way. This prank is super cool, and it does use a little bit of physics. And the cat likes it. Wanna know how to make one? Then let's get science. To make the spider prank, you will need a few pieces of thick paper, some wire, I'm using these clothes hangers, two rubber bands, some tape, scissors, and wire cutters. And make sure you get an adult to help you. Let's go. Start by folding a piece of cardboard in half, but leave about three millimeters from the edge. Then open it up and fold this half into the center line. Fold along the center line and then fold one more time like this. Turn it over and fold over one centimeter from the top and then fold this over again. Then repeat this on the other end. Now for my favorite part. What's that say? All right, decorating the front. You can do this however you want, but make sure you add a big scary spider somewhere on the front. Now that we've made the packet, let's build the part that makes the noise. Start by cutting a piece of wire 25 centimeters in length. Then mark the wire at 5, 10, 15, and 20 centimeters. Fold the wire up 45 degrees at 15 centimeters, and then fold it up 45 degrees at 10 centimeters. Curl each end of the wire so that they form a loop that touches at 5 and 20 centimeters. Next, cut a piece of wire and curl it into a circle. This is pretty hard to do, so you can just use a key ring instead. Now that you've got your pieces of wire, it's time to assemble them with your rubber bands. Place one rubber band through the ring and hold these ends together. Attach these ends to one of the loops. Repeat this on the other side with the second rubber band. Lastly, tape this piece of metal to this part of the cardboard. And there it is, your very own spider prank. All that's left to do is wind up the ring about 30 times, maybe more, depending on the rubber bands that you use, and fold up the paper. Winding the ring gives the rubber bands potential energy. They want to unwind and return to their original shape, but we stop them by folding up the paper. When the paper is opened, the rubber bands unwind. The potential energy is converted into kinetic energy, the energy of moving objects. The ring hits the paper, making a noise. There's one more thing happening with this experiment. Reading that the packet contained one plastic spider made you think that the noise came from the spider and that the spider was alive. In psychology, this is known as priming. Now to leave it for someone to find. Contains one plastic spider?